good morning, my beautiful friends and family and supporters or who wants to subscribe. I really appreciate it. Um, ready to leave the terminal, go to Creston, Iowa, pick up this oil stuff for uh, Tyson Feeds in Fort Smith, Texas, or Fort Worth, Texas, Fort Smith, Arkansas. Good -der -der. So let's see what uh, exciting stuff. We're just going to backtrack what we did yesterday. So I'm going to go 90 miles in Iowa, go back down pretty much to Kansas City, to Topeka, and then Wichita, to Oklahoma City. And then after that, into Texas to Fort Worth. So let's make that money, why don't we? Come on now. I got a daughter graduating in a few weeks, so I got to get her prepped out and for life and in general and so on. So <sighs> I got my mojo sipping on that crappy coffee at work, you know. It ain't Maxwell House or Folgers in your cup. So let's put on this fat boy holding receptacle device called a AKA seatbelt. And, uh, let's get this truck and life show on the road, why don't we? Shimon! We pull into the old love stop. It's a little old place where I can get the right mojo. The love's truck stop, baby. The love's truck stop, baby. It's the love stop, baby. Love stop. Love stop. <laughs> I'm gonna make me like an intro song or something like every time I come to Love's, the love stop song comes on. But you know, I'm here to get the right, the right coffee, the good stuff, not that blah, grade D coffee at work. Ugh, it's just drinkable. It's almost equivalent to jail coffee. Look <laughs> at you know how bad that decaf is. All right, let's go in there. Come on. Damn it. I forgot my wallet, damn it. You know, that's a normal thing us truck drivers do all the time. Forget our damn wallets. I got it now. Oh, we constantly... Taking our wallets off because I ain't driving all day with this shit in my pocket. <sighs> Back to the checkout desk so I can pay for my coffee and stuff. <sighs> Ooh, the sale table. What do they have on sale? Mini backpack? No. Oh, I see. I got a press. I got a press. Press here. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Pokemon. Squeeze animals. Squeeze animals. Squeeze it. Squeeze it. What do I feel like? Squeeze? Squeeze? Those are surprise animals. Alright. Yeah, you've probably seen that. Uh-huh, shut up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you've seen that. We made it back, and yeah, I got my mojo. Time for the sip. The morning taste test sip. Here we go. Drum roll, please. Alright. Hmm. I give it a 7.6 to 7.8 out of 10. It was an okay job. Not the greatest. I didn't do a double take on the coffee. It would have been a 9 out of 10 if I would have double double dose. Mm, maybe next time. Let's go. Let's make some money now. Come on. Enough of these playing around and blah, blah, blah. You know, meet you in Creston, Iowa. Coming into a little town called Creston, Iowa. Creston, Iowa. So, Newly bit town. Need more coffee. Mm. My camera 
it froze for some reason, don't know why. I had no idea where it cut off. But this, let's say it again, this is Crescent, Iowa. This is where I got my pickup here. I'm gonna take a left another 1.3 miles. Hey look, a Dollar Tree. Well, are we gonna have to call them a Dollar Tree or are they gonna be the 135 store, you know? I think they used to have that. They used to have the one and three and the five and seven. Turn. I almost was listening to GPS, but that guy just pulled out in front of that Jeep and made that person stop. What a dumb darn. Hey, no line today. I'm excited. There's usually a huge ass line all the way out to the road. And there ain't nobody? Wow. Wow. I can pull right on into the scale house and check in. Wow. <laughs> I'm usually got to park and walk all the way up here where you're driving the, the wrong way and go park in front of that door and check in up top. But I guess I'll just... Uh, Check in this morning. Maybe they're not here yet. It ain't 8 o'clock yet, so I'm not sure. It'll be continue, I suppose. pickup number and everything right up there. Alright, uh, can I get your name and your phone number? Sure. Huh, you gonna be calling me later? <laughs> Is there somebody back there already? Or? Place called Benson Hill. Benson Hill. Getting some corn oil. Some corn oil oil. 
and uh, gonna plumb fill her up and uh, head 676 miles to Fort Worth. See, I'll show you. I'll show you the map. Which the map? The map? The GPS map? <laughs> We're starting to turn like Dora the Explorer. The map? The map? Where? Right here, see, it says 676 miles, and I hit that button, and it tells me, like, nearest truck stop rest area. So you just touch the screen, You're supposed to just touch the screen, and it gives you this little flag. Touch that, and it'll show you the trip route. See, I'm going to go down 71 and cut across to St. Joe, probably, or no, get on 35, I think. And then Kansas City, uh, Topeka, Wichita, Oklahoma City, you know, dropping down. And I just exit out of that, and a lot of times I have to zoom back in to where I'm at. Where am I? I'm right here. There you go. That's my today and tomorrow's plan. Bye time! Nap time. Nap time, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. sucker to uh, Lando Lakes, right? Thought it was Tyson, but Purina, Lando Lakes, because, you know, who else gonna be making the dog food and cat food? So come on! <laughs> Stretch his knee, legs and knees and back and joints. Got out of bed a little stiff this morning and right underneath the shoulder blade, that little nerve. I, I need a chiropractor. I need my spine stretched, you know? You know, crack, little masseuse action going on. Right now it's just me and my back massager, Sally. You know, she's getting a little old and fingers start to rah, rah. You know, they don't work as good as they used to anymore. Got to replace Sally with a new one. But, uh, yeah, I had something funny happen earlier. I got messaged by my dispatcher and, and uh, forgot. It, it started off saying, a rumor has it that you have your windows tinted in your truck. Y'all you know me. Does that look tinted? I mean, does that look tinted? Let me show you the other side. Does that look tinted? Like how rumors start. You know what I mean? The only thing I can think of is some dumbass seen. Let me fix what? My curtain pulled at night and drove by, and maybe it looked like my windows were blacked out. But you know, I like how rumors start at work. And I want to know who the hell has it in for me. I want to know who relayed a message to the safety department stating my truck windows are tinted, possibly, and then safety department relay the message back to my dispatcher that asked me. Well, why didn't my safety department just call and ask me? I was at the terminal yesterday. Why didn't, why didn't they just have maybe one of the mechanics go out and look at my truck? I don't know. I just want to know, you know, you shouldn't say anything, basically, if, if you don't have proof. If you're going to say someone's windows are tinted, and then you're going to go to the safety department, you take pictures of their truck, at least. If you're going to snitch, at least be a good snitch. <laughs> and my dispatcher was like, I don't care if you do, but safety and the mechanic's probably going to rip it off. I'm like, I don't put, why, why would you tint somebody else's vehicle? Or spend your money on tinting the windows on a vehicle that's not even yours. That's why I told my dispatcher, yeah, I figured the same thing. That's pretty stupid to do that when it's, you know. 
it's like, you know, that costs like a couple hundred bucks probably. So, oh, I just, I just found it funny and a little aggravating. And uh, let's put this back in the cradle because I was just showing you the windows. A little aggravating if somebody wants to say that. I, I honestly don't know anybody at work really personally. I don't call them, don't have the phone number, no Facebook friends or whatever. One time there was a guy that had the same name as me, Patrick Bertrands. Even the last name was similar with the spelling and stuff like that. Well, he, uh, what's that called? Tried to fleece somebody or whatever. So another driver backed up in the front of our truck, our trucks, company trucks, and we had one of those little Deer Slayer bumper guards, and he dented his bumper guard. Made He made the other driver pay him $500, and they gave him my information, my phone number, my email, and truck number. Well, you know these trucks are satellite operated, right? This happened at Gallup, New Mexico. Uh, this truck was in Greenville, Mississippi at the time that accident happened. And, uh, yeah, I had the company call me. I was in the safety department. We were making sure it wasn't fraud. You know, like our company's getting defrauded. So I was on the phone playing the game and stuff with their office and insurance. And come to find out, it was another driver that did it and used me. I'm like, well, I didn't do nothing to anybody. You know, I'm a good person. I don't snitch on anybody. I don't do anything. I just enjoy life and do my thing. I guess the nicer you are, the more bullcrap that likes to happen to you suppose but what's, what's crazy is even after him doing that he never got fired he got 500 bucks and lied to the company and still never got fired and then he rolled the truck and wrecked his truck still never got fired something like that and then something else happened and he got fired and i'm so happy that person was out of the company and, and now all this crap and well the computer lying on me and you know i wouldn't say lying on me but you know the safety department and uh, being recorded and speed and even knows when we stop at stop signs or we don't make a complete stop at stop signs we're always being watched Pretty soon I don't want to deal with it no more. I won't have to truck drive no more, you know. That's called retirement. So, but that, uh, gotta get myself back up on the road and everything. And uh, well, first I gotta stretch my legs since I've been talking to you for five minutes. Bye bye. done for the day pulled into the Oklahoma rest stop and I'm proud of myself I did pass rock and brew it was taco Tuesdays or nachos Tuesdays so they had the big nacho supreme platters like like dream nachos and the fish tacos and shit 
Oh, some of the best, but and it was like gonna be only eleven bucks. That's everything. Drinks, the whole thing, tax, all eleven dollars. You know. But you know, I got food, you know, better to save some money, spend it elsewhere that I wanna spend it. You know. It all adds up. <sighs> Tomorrow's gonna be a busy day. Busy morning at least. Fort Worth in it. Yeah. Probably have me watch it. They'll probably have me run down to Houston and watch out. Watch. No. And then pick up Thursday in Port Natchez. And bring it all the way up to Can Wichita and then go home. It's a possibility. You never know. Texas. <laughs> Sometimes it could be as a massive headache. A brain constipation. I'm trying to drive her in that insanity. But uh with that, well I'll end it right here. I'm hungry, I'm I'm hungry. So this crazy fat truck driver obviously loves you, and he's thankful that you're a subscriber or a friend or a family member that sticks through watching my videos, and I'm much appreciated. And uh, remember that Jesus Christ always loves you. You know the saying, until the day you die, if you believe in him, blah, 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 blah. So we'll see you tomorrow, and you have a wonderful afternoon, evening, morning, or whatever time it is, wherever you're at. Just remember, every day at a time, one day at a time. See you.